Welcome to the comment show for what is a Bitcoin anyway. Lol, Google Captions thinks that you're talking about Bitcoins. Interesting. I wonder what it thinks I say whenever I say Bitcoins. Hmm. Was not expecting that. How much is a block worth? One coin, one bank account, or maybe a jackpot at a casino? The reward for mining a block fluctuates, but currently it's sitting at 25 bitcoins. And each bitcoin currently is somewhere around $124, but again, that value fluctuates as well. Soon to follow, the bit purse, the bit vestment, the bit tip, the bit tax, and the bit broke. Ha! I see what you did there. Wait a minute, so bitcoins are worth actual money or they're worth some value to someone on the internet? I'm still confused. Are bitcoins used in transactions or is it just something to do when you're bored? Most of the comments that you guys had were very similar to this one. So it seems that you guys still aren't quite getting what the concept of a bitcoin is, which means that I did a poor job of explaining it. You can't think of bitcoins as being worth actual money. They are actual money. The same way that you look at pounds, euros, dollars, and rubles is the same way that you should be looking at bitcoins. If you are wanting to exchange it for different currency, you can with websites like this. But you should look at it in the same way as if you're an American and somebody gives you a British pound, you would then go and exchange that for dollars. But since it is currency, you don't have to exchange it for anything. You can buy, sell, and trade with it directly. Currently, there's not that many places that accept Bitcoins, but hopefully the more popular it gets, the more places that will start accepting it. Is there actually any sites where you can buy stuff for Bitcoins? What you're looking for is a Bitcoin store. But unfortunately, Bitcoin stores are very difficult to find. But here's what you need to do very slowly type in this URL and then carefully, I said carefully, type in these search strings. The first result that comes up should be a Bitcoin store called bitcoinstore.com. You would have thought that they could have come up with a name that's a lot less complicated than that. Seems like a lot of work just for cash when physical money is already more manageable and easier to understand. You see, I really don't agree. I mean, yeah, the algorithms can be hard and mining can be confusing, but then again, so is setting up a banking system, creating a copy-proof printing algorithm, and setting up exchange rates for physical currency. The part that concerns the end user is essentially the same. You create a wallet, you gain bitcoins, you spend bitcoins. So as far as use is concerned, it's actually simpler than going to a bank, setting up a bank account, getting checks, getting a check card, etc. I don't see the value of bitcoins relative to silver or gold coins in that bitcoins do not require much labor to prospect, mine, refine, smelt, cast, coin, and transport. I would rather hold a silver coin in my hand than a wooden bitcoin. Now mining bitcoins are definitely labor intensive, it's just mechanical labor and not physical labor. And as far as gold is concerned, refining, smelting, and transport actually add no value to it. Gold is worth just as much when it's directly mined out of the ground as it is in coin form. I think the translation issue that we keep running into here is the fact that we're trying to substitute something physical for something virtual. Our instinct is to believe what we see. Something that you hold is worth more than something that you can imagine. A bird in the hand is worth more than two in the bush. But it should be obvious that the digital age is changing all of this. You say that you would rather hold a silver coin, but with PayPal, direct deposit, and wire transfer, how much physical money do you even actually deal with anymore? This isn't really profitable anymore, right? Even with super strong specific rigs and working in pools? So here's the deal. I purchased a 330 megahertz Bitcoin miner for around $60. And I've hooked it up to my Raspberry Pi and it's been running for a couple weeks now. It's averaging 0 0.01 Bitcoins per week. Now with the cost of electricity and time, that rig is never going to be profitable. But if you were able to shell out the money for a multi-thousand dollar mining rig, you could mine your own bitcoins a lot faster. 
and at roughly $3,000 per block, that rig could easily recoup its value and become profitable. You just have to shell out the money up front, and it's a lot of money. All right, guys, those were phenomenal questions, and I really appreciate it because there's a lot of things that it appears that I forgot to cover in the video, so thank you guys very much. Hopefully this clarifies a lot of what I missed, and uh, hopefully I will see you guys next week with a new tutorial.